our children? I mean, is our lifestyle killing them? Do we care enough about our kids? Are we concerned enough as parents? Where are the kids? How would I know? <laughs> Burgers here. Now, who had the wet and greasy? <laughs> No more burgers for this family. <laughs> well, then how do we get our vitamins and rocks? <laughs> that, that's minerals, Kel. <laughs> yeah. Don't you get it? Did Jim Jupiter die in vain? Well, Jim taught me that enjoying your food only leads to death and I will not be responsible for the death or enjoyment of any member of this family. <laughs> so for once, we Bundys are gonna learn from our mistakes. Bud, you will not be a shoe salesman. <laughs> and from now on, we're going to start eating right. You mean with forks? <laughs> I am trying to show love for this family. So either shut up or get out. <laughs> Get back here. All right, now. I will make the first sacrifice. My bonbons. <laughs> 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 Nice life. Mom kills some guy and we have to suffer. Yeah, why didn't we have to use forks when Aunt Pearly killed Uncle Dave? Well, because that was just an accident. I mean, the ice pick just flew out of her hand. Thirteen times. <laughs> Daddy, if I eat any more of this wheat germ, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Dad, you think you're the boss. Do something. No can do, bud. See, your mother's never actually physically killed a man before. So I'm afraid we're gonna have to bear with her for a few days. Okay, family. Home cooking. What is it tonight, Mom? Bee spit? <laughs> Sunflower paste. Hmm. I'm going to spread mine on styrofoam. That's a rice cake, bud. Now, isn't this delicious? I'm so glad we're eating healthy. We're cleansing ourselves. And I do, I, I feel 10 years younger. <laughs> I want to live, but not like this. Come on, everybody, family meeting. <laughs> now, Peg, I know you think you're responsible for killing Jim, and yet you have no guilt of squashing the life out of me, but that's another meeting. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is you didn't kill Jim. Good health killed Jim. See, he purified his body so completely that when finally called upon to do so, he couldn't handle the grease and sugar and toxic waste that we call food. <laughs> he rendered himself extinct. See, healthy people are like dinosaurs. They're not fit to survive. <laughs> Jim's body couldn't handle the burgers and bonbons and pastry suckins like real Americans. <laughs> you see, Peg, we are the truly strong. You really think so, Al? Absolutely. See that cockroach over there? That one? No, that one. <laughs> well, any one of them. You don't see them carrying off a can of wheat germ, do you? Germ, Dad. Thank you, pumpkin. <laughs> so, Peg, let's all follow the example of our friend the cockroach. They were here before man, they'll be here after man. You know why? They eat crap. <laughs> and I say anything that's good enough for the cockroach is good enough for my family. <laughs> 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 <laughs>